position to be in. It's going to get very terse in that building. Mahomes down the field. Yes! And he's up and in. Bouncing off the ground for the touchdown. Tyreek Hill. Allen faking the handoff. He's going to swing it again towards the end zone. Wide open is What's up, Protect fans? Your boy Protect Sports back with no one, man. I'm man, it's, it's midnight, but you know what I'm saying? I had to bring out this video. Uh, might not be so much breaking news at this point already, but as y'all know, uh, Matthew Stafford grew get trade earlier this evening, uh, earlier tonight. Um, he got traded to Los Angeles Rams for Jared Goff, two ones and a three. God dang, what in the hell, bro? I did not think I didn't. I, wow, first of all, wow, let's start with that. Wow. First off, secondly, I did not think Stafford was going to demand that much on the trade market. I, I did not see this coming. I thought he'll go for a one and a three or something, but they got two ones, a three, and golf, and, and they don't got paid golf nothing. Like they, they, they the the Lions inherit and in, in, are inheriting the entire contract, so they're just they just eat up the whole one hundred six million in the next four years, and they give two ones and a three to go get Stafford. Um, first of all, I'm, I'm going to talk about on both sides of the spectrum. I'm going to grade the trade on both sides and then, um, give you out what this means for both teams. Um, so I'm going to start on the line side of things because they did lose the best player in this trade. Um, the fact they, got a, the fact they got a haul like this is actually pretty good. Um, I do like the fact they got a, a really nice haul for Stafford. Um, that was their franchise piece. Now they're going to full rebuild, but at least they have a piece that they can use in Jared Goff to be you know, a bridge starter for a quarterback you might draft, or he could be the long-term answer. I, I still think Jared Goff has a shot. A good change of scenery for Jared Goff would be good for him. Um, they don't have a lot of weapons in Detroit, though. That's going to that's gonna hurt. Uh, Kenny Galladay is probably good as gone. I think Marvin Jones is probably gone. They'll probably go to different teams. Um, so he will only have TJ Hawkinson and... That's about it. They got a run game, though. DeAndre Swift's pretty good running football. Taylor Decker and those guys on the line are solid. They're not the best line, but they're solid. Um, defensively, they can use a little bit of work. Um, but I, I think the lines, this is a good start for a rebuild. This is definitely a good start. Um, is it the best start in the world? No. But is it a good start? Yes. Um, so I will grade for the Lions. For me, I'll grade a, I'll grade a B plus. Solid haul, really good haul. They got two ones. I think they don't get two ones. If I they got two ones, this is huge. Um, but they are in 2022 and 2023, I think. Yeah, but they still got two ones. Like that, that's still crazy. But they got two ones, um, and they got the three too. So, um, the, the Rams don't give a crap about their draft picks. I, I don't understand how they do this shit all the time. Like, excuse my French. Uh, how they do this all the time? Like. They don't have a – their last first-round pick was Jared Goff. And they just traded him to the line. It's like, they had not had a first-round pick since Jared Goff. Do y'all understand how long that is ago? Jared Goff been lead darn in five years. They don't have another first-round pick until another two years after this. I, I, I don't get it. I, I, I just don't get it. They gave two ones for Ramsey. They get two ones for Stafford. I, 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 I can't believe this. This is insanity. Um, let's get to the Rams side of things. Um, I'm a greatest of B. They gave a lot for Stafford. Um, I think to me, Stafford is like the seventh best quarterback in football. Um, they're the only guys are better than Stafford right now. Shout out to Louis T for this because I, I, I really had to do my research to really verify this. But, um, in my opinion, he's probably the sixth, seventh best quarterback in football on any given day. Um, the only guys better than him are Mahomes. Rodgers, Watson, Russell Wilson, Lamar, and that's it. He might be the sixth best quarterback because Josh Allen's up and coming, but he definitely shows a tier two starter. Like, he had a tier one season, but he's, he's definitely a tier two starter. Um, So he's probably the sixth best quarterback in football. He's definitely fringe tier one, high tier two quarterback. Definitely an upgrade over golf. Golf to me was the Mendoza line. Golf is an average starter, um, slightly above average talent, actually way above average talent, but the performances are average. Um, so that's why I definitely thought that um, golf like the, the Mendoza line for quarterbacks. 
Um, so they upgraded from the 16th best quarterback to probably the 6th, 7th best quarterback in football. Uh, that's a huge get there for um, the Rams. That's a huge upgrade. Um, pay, paid for it, though. Paid for it a ton. And they got a little bit of cap relief, too. That's another thing I like about it because golf's contract was like, his cap hit was like $35 million or 33.5. Stafford's cap hit's only $21 million. So you save about $11 million in cap space. Cost you two ones to do it, but save $11 million in cap space. So you might be able to keep some guys that you're missing, like guy like, I mean, guy like Gerald Everett, a couple guys that you're missing in free agency you probably want to bring back. Um, so this is, a, this is a nice gift for the Rams. They have a nice little nucleus. Veteran nucleus given, though, because Stafford's 33 years old. Um, Aaron donald has been in the league for a little minute now. So is Jalen Ramsey. But that, that that's a damn good team right there. You know what I'm saying? You got some pieces like John Johnson, guys like that. Uh, Michael Brockers. Uh, they got a good team over there in uh, L.A. Uh, Robert Woods, Cooper Cup. Um, Tyler Higby. Cam Akers had a great year this year. So, hey, the Rams, the Rams are winning now, mode. They try to win Super Bowl. They went to one about two, three years ago. They try to go out to the Super Bowl. They try to win. They try to win. win. They, 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 they're trying to get to that Chiefs level with Mahomes and them and guys and the other teams in, in, in the league that are up there. Um, so, uh, we're upgrading from the Rams, though. I'll grade for, a B for the Rams. I'll give a B. Let me rephrase that. I'm actually going to give the Lions an A minus. I'm going to give the Rams a B plus. Um, because they save some cap space, number one, for the Rams on the Rams side of things. And they get a huge upgrade quarterback. It'll probably come with a new deal, though. So, we'll see what the new deal kind of, um, what that new deal will entail. But we'll see. Uh, but at, at, he's, he's going to get an extension. No way in hell they're not going to give him an extension. I have to give him two ones. He, you, you'll, you'll hear him get an extension probably either Monday or Tuesday. They'll give him an extension like a three-year, three-year, 90 million extension, something like that. Maybe three years, 95. So, he'll, he'll retire a ramp. Basically, what I'm saying is, um, so great, great deal for um for the Rams there. Um, staff is pretty pretty, but Corey's put say 40 now, so I think uh, he got about another three years in his prime before he starts to decline a little bit. Um, but he'll still be good for at least like another five years or so. Um, he probably won't be the level he is now in three years, but he'll still be pretty good. Um, as for the like said, as for the Lions, uh, they get a starting quarterback and Jared Goff was actually solid. I think Jared Goff hasn't reached his prime yet. I do think he can get better. Um, also, you in, you do inherit the contracts. I kind of give you a ding for that. Um, but you get two ones, so you get two more ones to to start building your team around. Um, you have the seventh or eighth pick in this draft. I think it's the seventh pick in this draft. So. Um, you might want to draft a young guy behind Jared Goff. I don't think you would because Goff's only 27. But if you want to go that route, you could go that route and have him be a bridge. But he's there for four years. So um, I think he's probably the long-term answer for the Detroit Lions. So you get a long-term answer quarterback um, without, 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 you know what I'm saying, without losing too much. You lost Stafford, but you have another long-term answer in Jared Goff immediately. You get two ones. You get a three. Um, we're going to use those picks to maybe get weapons for golf. Um, well, not right away because those, those those ones are later on in in the future. But you can use those ones to maybe get you some weapons via a trade. Like you can maybe trade for a guy like a Julio or a Odell Beckham or something like that. So you can do that too. So um, this is a crazy trade, man. I Now, watch this trade price just goes to the roof. Now the Texas can ask for five first round picks. Like this is this is gonna be a wild off season, y'all. So be prepared. Put your seatbelt on. It's about to get crazy. Uh so thank you guys for watching once again, man. Um this is gonna be uploaded like at one o'clock in the morning. So um hope you guys catch it then. Um I'm gonna try to edit the video immediately, um, get it out there for you guys. Um also tomorrow. I do have some streams on my lot channel tomorrow as well. I do have streams on there tomorrow. Um, NFL Rundown will actually be on Wednesday, Wednesday, um, this week. Um, I'm going to fix, I'm going to definitely try to fix, fix this franchise series. Um, on the, uh, other two teams, I'm going to do like the Bears, another team, I, I picked, I forgot the other team, but I'll do those fixes franchise videos as well. Um, and draft, I'm going to do the draft prospect breakdowns. So those are going to be this throughout the whole month of February. I'm breaking down three different positions. So I think it's uh, quarterback, 
left tackle and another position the other position was but i'm gonna try to do other positions throughout the week as well i'm gonna try to do one every single day of the week so you guys get a nice feel for um me watching film and things like that so it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun month of february man hope you guys enjoy this content probably my, 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 my most consistent months ever on youtube so it's gonna be fun man so thank you guys for watching protect family man like comment subscribe if you guys are new Turn on post notifications or catch a post sports video, man. Put God first and we stay safe with this COVID-19. Or remember, the most athletic or talented in your sport of choice. As long as you are professional on off the field, technically sound, fundamentally sound, you're always going to lack of talent and athleticism through hard work and dedication, man. Protect fans, you want like always. Have a great one, guys, man. And um, this is a crazy trade. Like, I did not see this coming up. I knew the Rams were going to be contenders to get Stafford, but I did not see this coming. This is crazy. Tell you guys, peace, love, and blessings. I'm out of here, bro. Peace.